community. I've lived in the valley for over 30 years. Uh, my name is Michael Snyder. I have lived in Lagunitas for about 15 years. My name is Donna McGuinn. I'm on the steering committee of the San Geronimo Valley Stewards. My name is uh, Jean Berensmeyer. Uh, I live in Lagunitas. There are just a lot of various threats as the result of human activity that can interfere with um, the successful migration and spawning. Section 3 clarifies the maximum allowable density for housing and mixed use commercial zones at 30 units per acre. In fact, this actually sets a ceiling that didn't exist before. Those of us who came to the valley, we like trees, you know. We came there, we like trees. We didn't come to cut down the trees. At 97% 90, of the redwoods, I think I have that number right, it's over 90% of the redwoods that were originally uh, making up canopy in this watershed are gone. Our goal really is to provide a voice for the fish, really to be the representative for the fish who can't speak for themselves. The salmon are gone. Fish die. For years, the population of San Geronimo's coho salmon has been in continuous decline. Spawn, an organization dedicated to the protection of salmon, has been fighting for regulation of local development. Many people have been inconvenienced and set back by what they perceive as excessive regulation. Dissatisfied homeowners have joined together as the San Geronimo Valley Stewards to put in check Spawn's push against environmental development. The San Geronimo Valley Stewards are an environmental organization that claims that local property rights are being inhibited by excessive environmental regulation. We started three, two, three years ago now, um, mainly because Spawn and the county were making decisions that impacted everyone in the valley and were not consulting with anyone in the valley. These were just decisions coming down that we are getting no say in. What our organization is trying to do is to keep uh, the voice of homeowners in this process. Um, we need a practical, pragmatic solution to uh, the salmon issue. We don't need this divisive confrontation. This doesn't produce anything but bad feelings. Spawn, the Salmon Protection and Watershed Network, is a long-running nonprofit organization whose mission is to protect the coho salmon population from declining to the point of extinction. So Spawn originated um, in the late 1990s. Todd Stoddard, who's the executive director, um, was living in the valley and had noticed the old Roy's Pool fish ladder, um, which is off of the San Geronimo Golf Course. Uh, and during a heavy rain event, fish were attempted to get up the ladder and they literally couldn't. The salmon that come up here from the bay, 17 miles from the Pacific Ocean, more come up to this area than anywhere along the coast. Now that's something to think about. Why do they come here? If they do, and we don't know all the reasons, shouldn't we try to protect them, try to make, fix the things we've done wrong to help them come here? There's too much development near the creek. What can we do to help that? Today, active participants in the community are debating whether to pass a tree cutting ordinance, which would strongly discourage cutting trees down on their own property. Many salmon activists support it, while the stewards believe it to be too intrusive. I, I, I read recently a position um, regarding the tree ordinance, which was, well, you know, there were no trees here before people showed up. Uh, nature did fine. Why do we need a tree ordinance? And I say to that, you know, there was no crime before people showed up, so we don't need a police force. And the reason I came today is that when I saw the article in the IJ that Mr. Steiner had written, it really scared me because it gave me a sense of somebody that is really tr endangering my home and my property. Hey, these trees are important. Canopy can be important to keep the, the stream cool and um, uh, they provide uh, vegetation, when the leaves that drop into the stream, that's food. The, the majority feedback that we get from locals is highly positive. I think people's concerns about local control are great. I'm glad Marin has so many watchdogs that are looking out for that. I just happen to think that in this case, they have erroneously identified these amendments as being a threat to local control. It will protect the, um, the land and riparian habitat which will benefit coho salmon, 
and there will be modifications made to help landowners who are worried about their property rights. Spawn and the stewards may have differing opinions, but as they debate the future of the coho salmon, they grow closer to a reasonable consensus.